Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope that you're doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. Before we get into this very, very fun video that I'm super excited about, make sure that you click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to be notified of the videos that I post every week, hit that notification bell thingy somewhere down here. I was going through my analytics and it looks like over 40% of my viewers are not subscribed subscribe for the coziness. It is fantastic and it is fun over here and we love everyone. But without further ado, I am so excited about today's video. I was watching, I mean, I'm on, I'm watching YouTube videos just as much as you guys are. And I've been seeing a lot of those um, ratings of like makeup and books and like you move them on a scale. And so I thought that it would be really, really fun to rate 100 cozy mysteries that I've read um, that are the first books in the series. So I went through all of my past reading logs and I was able to drum up 100 cozy mysteries that I've read. So let's go through and talk about them. Okay, so I was able to make this tier ranking on Canva and we've got some um, of the 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 tiers right these are books that i have read from 2020 so i went back to 2020 all the way through 2024 um i've read more than 100 first books um since making this grid but i'm not gonna go and find them all but here are our tier ranks cozy crown jewels these are the cozy mysteries that i love with all of my heart and that i would reread over and over again we've got warm and fuzzy favorites I loved them. They were fantastic. We've got charming page turners. So I liked them. They were good. I was involved with it. There's comfy but average. It was okay. It was, um, I didn't, I didn't hate it, but I didn't like fall in love with the world and the characters as much as I wanted to. And then there's not my cup of tea, but maybe yours. I am a firm believer on there is no bad, there are no bad books. It's just books that are either not for me or not at this moment. I've got all of the books stacked up over here. So let's start diving in. All right. So the very first book I have is right here. It is Vanilla Bean Vengeance by Agatha Frost. This is the Claire Candles Cozy Mystery Series. And I have read the first two in the series. I really loved the idea of it, but I don't know if I was just not in the right mindset um, of reading this series in particular, but I do love Agatha Frost. Her Puridel Cafe Mystery Series is amazing. So I'm going to go with Comfy But Average. All right, my next book is this one right here. You guys know that Meet Your Baker by Ellie Alexander. The Bake Shop Mystery Series is my holy grail cozy mystery. So if anything, it of course has to be the first in the cozy crown jewels of cozy mysteries. I'm just saying. We have Murder, She Wrote, and this one is um, a vote for murder. I will say that I think I read this in 2020. It's not my favorite Jessica Fletcher, but I do really enjoy it. I'm going to put it in Charming Page Turners because Jessica Fletcher is charming. AF. Okay, my next one is Pages and Co. This is the first in a middle grade mystery series by Anna James. And we read this for the Cozy Escape book club. And I absolutely loved this enough to get the next couple in the series. So I'm going to go with Warm and Fuzzy Favorites. I also apologize if you can hear all of my animals right now. Uh, Cleo and uh, Juno are having a sibling moment if you will. The next one I have is How to Book a Murder um, by Cynthia Kuhn. I thought that this was very, very cute. I have not picked up the next book in the series, um, but from what I can remember, the main characters, like, I think there's there, there's a magicalness to this, is there? Or I think there's an, an ants kind of thing going on. Um, but I, I did enjoy it. I would say that it's comfy, but average. I wouldn't say that it was, I don't think that I, obviously I didn't like it, love it enough to get the next in the series. So I will say that I did, I did enjoy it. I also have um, 
beaches, bungalows, and uh, burglaries. And I did very much enjoy this series as well. I will say that it goes under Charming Page Turner. There are a bajillion of that series. So um, you can really do a good binge reading of anything by, um, by that author. I've got Shady Hollow by Juno Black. Guys, this is the cutest freaking book. I love it. The covers are gorgeous. I love the author. Like, it's just, hmm, I love it so much. I will say that this is a warm and fuzzy for me. It was a very, very good read. We've got Engaged to Death. This was another cozy mystery that we read for the Cozy Escape Book Club. I will say that I wasn't the biggest fan of it. The characters weren't my favorite. So I would say not my cup of tea, but it could be your cup of tea. So we've got that one. Uh, the Mystery of Miss Christie by Marie Benedict. It was sort of a hypothetical of what happened to Agatha Christie during those missing days and it had the um the pers like perspective of her and her husband and it, it it was okay it I will say that I not my cup of tea like I I thought that it was going to be cool but then it wasn't um we have The Time for Murder is Meow by T.C. Lo Tempio. This was freaking adorable and I loved it. We read it for the Cozy Escape Book Club and I will say that it is a charming page turner. We've got A Skeptic in Salem here. This was, I think, um, a... It was a mystery that I got off of uh, Libro FM for like free, like an audiobook. Um, it was... It was okay. I wasn't the biggest fan of um, the personality of the main character. So I'm going to put it as not my cup of tea, but maybe yours. We've got Murder uh, by the Book by Lori, Lauren Elliott. Um, I really loved the color. I think that this one was, it was a good uh, mystery, but I, I will say comfy, but average. Fresh Brood Murder. We read this for the Cozy Escape Book Club, and I absolutely loved it. I loved sort of the millennial kind of cozy mystery that it is. Um, it does have a little bit more of darker themes when it comes to, um, like, drugs and homelessness and things like that, but I really, really enjoyed it enough to I, I will read the next books in the series. So I'm going to go with Warm and Fuzzy here. We've got Flowers and Foul Play. Um, one, this cover is flipping adorable. Amanda Flower is a wonderful author, and I did enjoy this one. I'm going to um, go with um, Comfy but Average. Agatha Christie's The Clocks. Please don't hate me, but I was... Th this one... This one bored me a little bit. Maybe I just wasn't in the right mindset for it. There are Agatha Christie's that I've absolutely loved, but this one didn't really hit the mark for me. I read um, Mysterious Merchandise by Astoria Wright, and I thought that this one, this series was very, very cute and adorable. We've got our main character who finds out that she has magic and that there is like this secret alleyway full of magical shops and there's a feisty cat and a genie. It's just, it, it, it was very, very charming. I have the whole series. Um, we've got this one right here, Murder, She Barked. Uh, this was my very first Krista Davis book and I liked the writing enough that I want to pick up some more um, series that she's written, but this one was, it, it was okay. Again, we read it for the Cozy Escape book club. Um, if you don't know, the Cozy Escape book club is a book club that I host. Um, and it is where we meet the last Wednesday of, of every month at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we talk about that month's book. And it's always the first book in a series. So you'll hear a lot of these are from something that we read for the Cozy Escape book club, because that's always going to be a first in the series. We also have the... Um, the Great Witches Baking Show. Guys, anything that's even close to the Great British Baking Show, you automatically have like my heart. I really, really enjoyed this on audiobook. It, I will say that I really do think that it is a cozy crown jewel. Um, 
we've got the um, claws of justice. The em Emmy Lynn's covers are always absolutely gorgeous and stunning. I thought that this one was okay. Um, it wasn't necessarily my cup of tea, but it could be yours. Now, Magic, Lies, and Deadly Pies by Misha Pop. I freaking love this series. The third book just came out and the second book is like a British, like the British like cooking shows. And it's just so darn good. It is sort of a darker cozy mystery, I would say. Um, our main character bakes pies that kill bad guys and I freaking love it. Uh, take all of my money, okay? We've got Premeditated Myrtle. This was for middle grade March, and I loved this enough to buy the second book within the series, so I will say it's warm and fuzzy favorites. We have Arsenic and Adobo, which I really love the fact that Mia P. Monasalo, um, she sort of put cozy mysteries back in like the mainstream light because this book was chosen for um the book of the month club and i really really loved um just what she brought to the cozy series in terms of her heritage and her culture and i just and the aunts in this are freaking hilarious and you guys know how i feel about feisty older ladies so this is of course going to go in the cozy crown jewels if you ask me We've got the Vampire Knitting Club. I also binge read, binge listened to all of these books in this series, and I love them so flipping much. So it's also going to go over here to the Cozy Crown Jewels. We've got the Spellman Files. Now, I will say that this isn't technically cozy mystery, but I will say that it is sort of like capery cozy, and that's the vibe I'm putting it under. Um, I have the rest of the books in the series. I've got like the first five or six in the series, and I haven't picked them up, but that's because I have them physically. But I would say that these are um, comfy but average. I've got booked... Uh, Booked to Death by Victoria Gilbert. Anything by Victoria Gilbert is an automatic read for me. And she did not disappoint in this series. I love how detailed she makes the, the, the characters feel. And I just loved it. So I would say that this is a warm and fuzzy. We've got The Big Chili here by Julia Buckley. I love Julia Buckley. She's one of the, one of my favorite cozy mystery authors. Um, I really love her writing series um, as well. And so this was a book club pick for, um, I think it was like a cooking one or a holiday one. Um, but I, we loved it enough to read the second book in the series. So I'm going to put that in warm and fuzzy favorites. Pride and Premeditation, Ellery Adams and I, Buddy, read this together. Um, and this is what got me into reading um, Jane Austen. And I love the fact that Price has twisted the the background and like made it more modern but also kept within the limits like it was just it was so good i really really enjoyed it um i think the next one the second book in the series is called manslaughter park and i just ugh, it's so freaking like the 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 titles my dudes the titles uh in the company of witches by orly wallace Practical magic vibes with the aunts and the magic. And I just, I love it so much. Um, I actually just finished the second book in the series with the Cozy Escape Book Club. Um, and it was just, uh, I loved it. I loved it. So for a while, a couple of years ago, I had a thing for sci-fi cozies. I, th th like, they, like they were nowhere to be found. I, I'm a huge Trekkie. I want, like, I know I've seen every single version of Star Trek that you could possibly imagine. And so I really, really, really was like craving some sci-fi cozies and Richard D knocked it out of the park with Andorra Pet. Um, and so I read all of the books in this series. And so I'm going to do warm and fuzzy favorites. I think I need more sci-fi cozies in my life. Let me know. Would you read a sci-fi cozy? You, you got to tell me. Um, Grounds for Murder, 
absolutely love this book. I love anything by Tara Lush, uh, Tamara Lush. She's just absolutely fantastic. I'm currently reading her Gator Queen series and it's so freaking good. So I'm going to give that um, a warm and fuzzy favorite. We've got Bait and Witch. And I thought that this was th this was cute. I will give it a comfy but average. We also read this for the uh, Cozy Escape Book Club. The cover is just so flipping cute. We have Fly Me to the Moon by Diane Valerie. This is another sci-fi cozy that I was just all about. So I, I really did enjoy this and I did read more of this series. I will say that it is a charming page turner. I do recommend it. Um, and I, I did really like the uh, the writing style. We've got The Strangers by Margaret Peterson Haddix. I have a weakness for Margaret Peterson Haddix because I would read um, the first five books in the um, Among the Hidden series uh, to my fifth graders. And so I, I listened to this on audiobook and it was so freaking good. Um, I think I listened to the first three, actually. So I'm going to put that here under Warm and Fuzzy favorites. And I'm sorry, I'm like out of breath. It's so hot here that even with my fan and AC on, I'm breaking out in a sweat. So enjoy my glistening face. We've got Lending a Paw by Lori Cass. I really wanted to enjoy this book. It's a bookmobile cat mystery, but it just, it just didn't hit the right mark for me. So I'm going to say, um, <sighs> I'm going to say comfy, but average. Like, I, I, it wasn't my favorite, but, like, I liked the idea, the premise. Like, I thought it was good, just not good enough to be, like, higher up. Speaking of Tara Lush, I have Eat, Pray, Hex. Ugh. I freaking love a good, cozy mystery that has magic menopausal women that are just going through some shit. Like, I just, I really, really, really enjoyed this one, and um, I just love the series, and I love Tara, and I'm going to say that you should 100% um, pick up this series. We've got Death by Dark Roast. This was actually sent to me by the author, and I love this series. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed it. So I will say that this is a charming page turner here. We've got If You've Got It, Haunt It um, by Rose Pressy. Um, I know, I know. And she... Um, we read this for the Cozy Escape Book Club as well, and I thought that it was, I thought that it was good. It was okay. It was comfy, but average. Um, and so I thought that it, it, it was a good one. Um, an elderly lady is up to no good. I will say this is not what I was expecting in any way, shape, or form. It was multiple messed up. Um, and I read it as a comp as I was writing um, Death on Deck. And um, not a comp. Uh, yes, there were feisty older ladies in it, but I just is just not my cup of tea. So again, on my sci-fi kick, murder in the multiverse. The, no, no, it it was not my cup of tea. No, thank you. Um, the no. Another one that I that also wasn't I wasn't a big fan of was Night of the Living Deed by E. J. Uh, I think it's Copperman. Uh, it was a Cozy Escape book club, and I really just wished that it was better, but there were a lot of, like, sexist, like, misogynistic kind of undertones that I just wasn't wasn't a fan of. We've got uh, Space Murder, which we also read. It was a very interesting one. I will say it's a charming page turner, but I wouldn't necessarily, like, like it would be a specific person that I would recommend that to. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, like, I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm not going to recommend it to everyone. Not not every person needs to needs to read that book. If, if you know what I mean. Um Murder She Knit. This was very cute, uh but it still wasn't it, it wasn't like fan, like amazing. I really did uh enjoy the, the little kitten and um all of that, but I will say that it was it was comfy but average, but I didn't pick up the next book in the series. We also read uh, A Christmas Candy Killing by Christina Romerill. And I really, uh, I, I thought that this one was okay. 
Um, it was comfy, but average. We have um, a case for the wine maker. This was a self-published book, um, a indie author, and I thought it was it was comfy, but average. I, you guys know I have a weakness for um, for uh, cozy companions. But one of my absolute favorite reads was Buried in a Book by Tamara Berry. I absolutely love the whole entire vibe of this. The fact that it is a writer mother and her teenage daughter just like, and body parts exploded out of a pond. It was just it's perfect. Absolute perfection. Okay, The Broken Spine. I loved the idea of it having like a hidden library because the town is going um, all digital. I thought that this was a charming page turner. Um, I did enjoy it. We've got Cupcakes and Chaos by uh, Lisa Seifert. Very, very cute. I liked it as well. We'll put that over here by Charming Page Turners. Pint of No Return. My sister bought this for me for my birthday last year, and it was the perfect read for during summertime. I will 1 million percent agree with that, but it was it was comfy but average. Uh, the Plot is Murder by V.M. Burns. I did really enjoy a lot. Um, I will say that it's just like those poodles were just fantastic. Snuffed Out, um, I was not a big fan of. So I'm just going to put that right over here. Uh, a Skeleton in the Family uh, by Lee Perry, hands down. Sid the Skeleton is one of my favorite characters of all time. So I'm going to put it up here with the Cozy Crown Jewels. We've got Sisterhood of the Sleuths. Um, one of the, I was sent by this, uh, by the author. She did sort of like a arc send around to a group of people. And so when one person finished, they mailed it off to another person. It was so much fun. I will say that this was a charming middle grade page turner that I did enjoy very much. Uh, M Mango Mambo and Murder by Raquel uh, Reyes. I really, really, really enjoyed this book quite a bit. So I'm going to put that one right here. Um, there's a lot of, like, I love it whenever I can learn more about different cultures and um, heritages and like all of that. It just makes my heart so happy. Hammers and Homicide is my friend Paula Charles's debut uh, cozy mystery series. And I freaking love it with all of my heart. So I'm going to go over here. Um, so good. A Study in Murder. I really, really enjoyed this. I loved it so much that I wanted to pick up the next book in the series, and I don't know why I never did. So I'm salty with myself, but I'm going to put it under Warm and Fuzzies. We're going to run out of room. I don't even know how many books we have gone through already. All right, there we go. I've sort of made it a little bit bigger. Hopefully this will fit all 100. We've got uh, Needed to Death by Winnie Archer. This is such a fun series. I love Winnie Archer. She's also um, she also writes under Melissa Bourbon and she's got such good, she builds such amazing women, female relationships in her cozies. I absolutely love it. Uh, a Deadly Eclair. I think this was my very first cozy mystery on audiobook, maybe, or one of the very earliest. And I did enjoy it, um, a lot. I would give it a charming page turner. The Cracked Spine, I wanted to love this so much because it's a Scottish bookshop mystery. Um, and I thought I thought it was okay. It was comfy, but um, but average. I didn't end up picking up the series, even more of the series, even though the freaking titles are amazing and those covers are ugh, to die for. Absolutely fantastic. So Deadly to the Core by Joyce Trimmel. I thought that this one was um good. I love Apple kind of orchard cozy mysteries um and so i would say that this is comfy but average 12 sleighs of christmas by um jacqueline frost aka julie ann Lindsay. i love this series i mean come on guys i i i am addicted to um Christmas and like a whole entire series that is a Christmas tree mystery series. Come on. A new to me author is Gretchen Rue and I loved her, her steeped to death series enough that I will, she's an instant buy author for me now. I loved it a lot. Death Overdue. I just, by Allison Brooke, I was not as um, excited about it as I wanted to be. Um, 
I had higher hopes for it. It was just not my cup of tea, but it could be yours. We also have The Secret on Rum Runner's Lane by Melissa Bourbon. This series gives me very much practical magic, mystery kind of vibes. We've got uh, Live, Local, and Dead. This was a very, very interesting cozy mystery for me because I had never heard of a radio series cozy, and so I really did enjoy that. Deadly News. Um, I thought that it was cute, but I actually don't remember enough of it to give you a good synopsis of it. So I will say comfy, but average. We've got A Spell for Trouble by Esme Addison. I don't, I, oh, I do remember this series. I thought it was, it was okay. Um, I feel like there were some things that I wasn't like too keen on, but I couldn't tell you for the life of me. But I do remember feeling like, I can see that. That's, that's cozy. Uh, not my favorite, but it's cozy. Um, there's Well Read Than Dead. We read that for the Cozy Escape Book Club, and I had um, I had high hopes for it, but I feel like there was a lot of a lot of characters and a lot of people that you had to keep up with, and I just couldn't keep up with all of them. Resort to Murder by Annie McEwen. This is one of my absolute favorite series um, that I've started in a really long time. And she is a friend of mine and also an auto buy author of mine right here. I uh, I have her second book in the series currently um, in my Kindle right now. So yeah, we've got Crime and Poetry by Amanda Flower. I love this series. I love the main character's um, relationship with her grandmother. We've got uh, Heads Will Cinnamon Roll by London Lovett. And I, I love everything by London Lovett. She's just so good. This book, it, all of her series just give me the warm and fuzzies. We've got Bold Over, which again, I just was not the biggest fan of. I wish that I was, but it just didn't hit the mark for me here. We have A Killer Collection by Ellery Adams. It's an antique kind of mystery series and I, I enjoyed it. Um, I, love, uh, I love Ellery Adams. Up here we have Murder in the Margins. Um, and I thought that this one was, it was okay. I don't remember absolutely loving it. So I'm just gonna say comfy but average from what I remember about it. <laughs> This one, uh, To Fetch a Felon, that Corky was absolutely fantastic, and I freaking loved the, their relationship. So warm and fuzzy favorites, hands down. Snow Way Out was another of the um, cozy series that I really wanted to love, but it just, it just didn't hit the mark for me. So I'm going to say not my cup of tea, but it might be yours. I don't even remember where I'm pulling off from. Okay, we have Shutter Off Dead by Karina Moss. I loved this book for the Cozy Escape Book Club. I thought it was fun. And oh, we've got um the missing or the case of the missing marquise. I read the first like four or five in this series. I enjoyed it so much. So I will say Cozy Crown Jewels, The Little Shop of Murder. It was okay. I will say um comfy but average photo finished was it was very very cool to see sort of a photographer in a big city kind of vibe I will also say comfy but average the basket case I really enjoyed it I thought this was charming I really am sad that there aren't any more books in this series it bummed me out we read books can be deceiving by Jen McKinley I love Jen McKinley she writes such fun series so it's a charming page turner oh digging up trouble this was a fun book I read it uh I got it on sale at Libro FM does really really good cozy mystery audiobooks and I think I got it this for like $2.99 I will say that I thought that it was a charming uh page turner I did enjoy that M murder at the bookstore um I thought that it was okay um I, I'll put it in comfy, but average. The Marlowe Murder Club, I absolutely loved. I instantly bought the second book in the series and read it. It was so much fun. Cookie Dough or Die, I, I vaguely remember thinking that this one was okay. Um... We did read it for the for the book club, I think, and it was it was okay. Dying to Retire is one of my favorites. Cozy Crown Jewels, hands down. 
We've got Marigolds and Murder. I thought that this one was uh, comfy, but average. Um, we've got Burden of Poof. Uh, this is another Julie Ann Lindsay. I will say that it is a charming page turner here. Another murder she wrote, but this one is, uh, oh, coffee, tea, and murder. I thought that this one was a charming page turner. Um, so I'm going to put that one here. Up to no Gouda. This one was very, very cute. Um, I will say a charming page turner as well. I, I, I loved the vibe of it. To Kill a Mocking Girl, it just wasn't my favorite. I thought it was okay, but not something I would um, pick up the next in the series. I love uh, Mrs. Claus and the Santa Land slayings. So freaking good. I enjoyed it quite a bit. And I have read um, the first three in the series, actually. Everyone in my family killed someone. I love this book so much. It kept me on the edge of my seat. It just kept me going. Like, I didn't know who was the murderer, who did what. Like, it was... And like, there were so many twists and turns. It was so well written, so fun. Not a cozy mystery in in essence, but very much like it was a mystery. And it, I think it is the first in a series. I'm counting it. Come at me, bro, if you don't count it. Aunt Poldy is hilarious. Uh, I just, I, I really, really, really enjoyed this. Pleading for Mercy by Melissa Bourbon. Again, she is she she has charming page turners. I or actually I'm gonna go with Warm and Fuzzy because I've read this book, the 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 first few books in this series multiple times. Richard Osman, you know, is automatically going to go up here in Cozy Crown Jewels. We've got Manhattan's Can Be Murder. I'm gonna say that that's a that's a good charming uh page turner. And then, uh, not last, we've got uh, A Killing in Costumes here. I got this book on um, audiobook, and it was so, it was so good. It was fun. I'm going to go A Charming, charming Page Turner here. And then we've got A Scapegoat. Ugh, freaking loved it. This is um, also by Jana, uh, Jana, and I just, I love it, love it, love it. We've got Take the Honey and Run. I am anticipating the next book in the series. So I'm going to put that under warm and fuzzy favorites. So here it is. Here are 100 uh, mystery cozies that I read, um, the first books of the series. In from 2020 to 2024, um, probably, yeah, in 2024. And let me know, what are your thoughts? Are there any on here that you absolutely love that I want to know some of your rankings for some of these? Again, this is all subjective. These rankings don't really mean anything. If you absolutely loved one of the books that were not my cup of tea, that means that that book was written for you. It just wasn't written for me or my mind wasn't in that vibe at that time. Well, I hope that you loved doing this as much as I did. Let me know down below, what are your thoughts? Do you wanna see more videos like this? Let me know, but that's the end of this chapter of Courtagonist. Please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time guys, happy reading, bye.